Let's go for a ride. Feeling in my bones, I can feel it in my veins. Hands in the sky. This is tongue. Whirling Beach, also known as Cabana Beach. And I hope I've seen enough to make something right and make up for what I lost. I was down, but things are looking up. I want to get high. By surprise by you want you to make my heart feel as much as I know Tungwu Lang Beach is three kilometers long and features white powdery sand. This is the north side of the beach. It's the least developed but conversely I think the most beautiful. coming into the centre of the beach and things are getting a little bit more developed. There are more shops, restaurants and resorts. A lot of these have been here a long time and frankly some of them are looking just that little bit tired. The north is the most developed and most popular part of the beach. As well as being the most popular, it's actually my least favourite part of the beach. You can see on the right hand side the shops are not particularly well designed and they're not really sympathetic to the look of the beach. However, this is a popular spot for day trippers and you can understand why it's got everything you could really ever need. The overall vibe of the beach just isn't what I expected at all. I thought I'd stay here for a few days, but I've decided I'm going to move on. Tunglua Beach, or Cabana Beach, as the Thais like to call it, frankly left me feeling a little disappointed. But now it's time to push on the 4008 on my way to Surrey Beach. The sign on the left is comparing this area to the French Riviera. Personally, I don't think there's much comparison, but what do you think, guys? Any brave souls fancy a swim in here? Or here? Or here? Or here? Let me know and I'll tell you where it is. These are spirit houses which are a common sight in the gardens of most Thai homes. They're erected as the guardians of the land and the house and to protect the owners from wayward spirits. Traditionally, when new owners move into the property, a new spirit house will be erected, normally at the side of the old spirit house. If this isn't possible, then the old spirit house will be taken down and moved to a spirit graveyard. Normally, the removal of a spirit house will involve a ceremony where a monk will pick the best day for its removal. What we're seeing here is an unofficial 
spirit graveyard where the owners have taken the removal into their own hands. It's a common sight on roads up and down the country. Although Surrey Beach doesn't have the same reputation as Tunglua Beach, this is where I decide to rest for the night. I've been searching in the dark, trusting every clue I've found. But the truth has not been told, there's every corner. Thanks for coming along, enjoy your bikes, enjoy your rides, and I'll see you in the next video.